Thank you, everybody, and good afternoon. Also, thank you to uh, Peter for the invite to speak today. I uh, truly appreciate that, and this is an exciting time for Cornerstone Co-op, and today I just really want to focus on uh, providing an overview of Cornerstone Co-op, our co-op retailing system, Federated Co-op, and a number of our flagship programs that we have in our, uh, in our food store. We pride ourselves on being a different kind of business, where members are owners, and for nearly a century, we have built our reputation on being the local business that cares. For almost a century in our communities, we live, in, we live work and play and are true genuine leaders as we are the cornerstone of the communities that we serve. We foster meaningful and rewarding careers with the ability to learn and advance. We are committed to our evolving and staying relevant in the eyes of our owners by growing and investing in operations that provide meaningful return. I want to sh share our story today with a few videos. And so this is our first video, and this is uh, a video based on our Cornerstone Co-op. Each individual co-op has their own version of how their local co-op got started. But really, all stories have started off the same way. A group of neighbors and farmers got together and decided to pool their buying power, and as a result, the local co-ops were born across Western Canada. Small groups held several meetings and decided to form their own businesses in the beginning years, and the main activity of the groups consisted of buying various goods, large quantities, and selling them to each other. Co-op members have always known there's power in numbers. And together we stand the test of time from humble beginnings of local farmers building a co-op to make life better. Cornerstone Co-op has grown to 27,000 locally minded member owners who are the fabric of our communities. Sharing in a value of ownership worth more than 70 million and receiving cash refunds of more than 23 million in the past five years. More than 450 employees embody your local co-op experience, benefiting from over 14 million in salary and wages per year, and a career environment that fosters growth and development. When you think co-op, think economic sustainability. But that's not all, because we believe that doing good is good. We've been giving back to the causes you care about. Nearly $140,000 since 2014, to causes ranging from sports and rec, arts and culture, environment and education, to social services, disaster relief, health and wellness, and civic investment. We'll continue rolling out innovative programs like Bags for Breakfast, turning acts of recycling into healthy breakfasts for school children, and keep on giving real support to organizations from local firefighters to youth sports teams. When you think co-op, think community. And when we think community, we think future. Investing more than 48 million into world-class co-op community facilities since 2011 and innovating for future success. With actions like electricity generating water faucets, LED lights, and oil water separators at all our card locks. When you think co-op, think future. The pillars of our success are built with values. And at Cornerstone Co-op, we're proud to be building great things on a solid foundation, becoming a cornerstone of our communities so they thrive and prosper. Cornerstone Co-op, you're at home here. So one item or one program that the uh, video talked about is our Bags for Breakfast program. So that Bags for Breakfast program is just a way that we illustrate our true connection to the community. And in the last two years, we've diverted 2.7 million plastic bags away from landfills and in conjunction donated over $70,000 to uh, school breakfast programs in our trading area. Here's a map of our trading area just to get to know Cornerstone Co-op a bit better. Uh, we are committed to our communities once again by building, feeding and fueling our customers. We serve over 26,000 active members in seven communities at 21 locations. Cornerstone Co-op focuses on providing world-class co-op experiences for 
members and owners in the departments of grocery, fresh food and commodities, pump petroleum, bulk delivery and car lock petroleum, hardware, building materials, agriculture equipment, oils and lubricants, propane, animal feed, convenience items, uh, pharmacy, liquor, and two department support centers. Uh, we're in, as I mentioned, seven communities, St. Paul, Elk Point, Manville, Dewberry, Vermilion, Wainwright, and Provost. And so that's a little bit about Cornerstone Co-op and a bit about co-op retailing, the co-op retailing system and how everybody uh, works together in our federation and our system. In our federation, there's approximately 170 autonomous run retail co-ops across Western Canada called the co-op retailing system. The CRS is a unique network of retails serving approximately 1.5 million member owners in over 580 communities in Western Canada. Cornerstone is proud to be the 10th largest retail in this co-op retailing network. Our, though our connection is vast and our network is vast, our connection remains local and we are proud to be local. And then a little bit about our wholesaler just to get the uh, perspective about the whole organization. We are proud to be a part of a federation that uh, we own our wholesaler. And uh, just like every member is a member of their local co-op, every retail co-op in the system is a member and an owner of federated co-ops. We have our head office in Saskatoon. We have distribution centers in Calgary, Edmonton, Saskatoon, Regina, Winnipeg, and our hardware distribution center in Calgary. We refine our own petroleum in Regina, and uh, the wholesaler and manufacturer co-op is owned by the retail co-ops, and it truly does also operate in the co-op model and collaborates with retail co-ops. So we're very proud of this system. Across being a part of uh, the co-op model and across the co-op retailing system, we have our brand values. And I really want to talk about our brand values today because it really connects to some of the programs uh, that we're a part of. Our brand values are locally invested, community-minded, and lifetime membership benefits. One of our programs that we have is our at-home product, our programs. We have raised at home, grown at home, and produced at home. Co-op was built on the idea of being truly local and the promise is staying that way. We support local because we've always been locally owned and operated. Our co-op supports local farmers, ranchers, manufacturers who grow, raise, and produce food. We work with local suppliers to provide quality local products for our customers, such as fresh fruit and vegetables, quality meat, and innovative food products across Western Canada. And at our back booth, we have a list of some more local providers um, that we have partnered with. Here's another um, video that I want to showcase, just to showcase our Grown at Home and Raise at Home program. So I started when I was real young with my dad on the tractor. I'm sure I was five, six, and I'd sit on his lap while he rode or tilled during the day. And it seemed like lots of fun when you're a young kid, so it just, got you hooked and you just stayed hooked. My name's Dan Erlinson and I'm the owner operator of Spring Creek Market Gardens. I'm a third generation farmer. It was really cool just to be, you know, out with your dad sitting on the tractor hanging out with him. There was one summer we had a really good summer and we made lots of money and I was just like, yep, I'm gonna do this. Since then it's I mean money is good and it's it's nice to be able to provide a living for your family. But more than that, it's become idealistic and something we really believe in and just love doing. We like to take care of our land. We try to be responsible in our production methods. We hand pick just about everything. We hand package everything. Everything gets pretty much hand washed. And I think that gives us a whole number of times where we can grade out bad pieces of vegetable and then the quality is just that much higher. I really want people to understand and know where their food comes from. 
And I think by producing a local product, we get to do those things. You may not know where an obscure place in California is, where that carrot's coming from, but you know where Outlook is, you know where Dinsmore is. It's not that far away from home. I feel a lot of pride in what we do, and it's, it, we want things to not only look good, but we really want things to taste good. Somebody won't buy something if it doesn't look good, and they won't come back and buy something again if it doesn't taste good. So we'd like to have both those characteristics in the products we produce. People are looking for something different than maybe just as cheap as they can possibly get at it. And the input from TGP and the co-op has just been integral to this whole thing and just being a real backer to us being able to do this. Right now we're growing on small scale, so it's not a huge risk to them, it's not a huge risk to us, and it's a good way to enter the market and, and have a feeling out process before either they commit to large volumes or we commit to large volumes. So starting on this small scale allows us to grow together. We can expand our customer base and provide this local product and give people maybe that don't go to a farmer's market the opportunity to buy local, and we can just get a larger segment of the population. And, and that's super important because if they don't go to a farmer's market, they maybe won't find local anywhere else. So if we can expand our reach and help some more people get into local and find a local stream of produce, we want to do that as well. If I didn't love doing what I was doing, I wouldn't wake up at 5 a.m. every day and start and work until 10 p.m. every night. But I think it's really important and it's easy to work like that when you believe in what you're doing. Conversation and family and all that kind of thing starts around the dinner table. And if you can buy something local, you can maybe feel a part of where it came from, and you just feel a little more connected to your food, and you can maybe pass it on down to your family, and it's just, it's some maybe quality time in a real fast-paced world that we don't always get. And if I can pass that on to my children and just, you know, appreciate your food, appreciate where it comes from, appreciate the work that goes into it, and, and really understanding it, that, that allows them to be more aware of what's going on, more aware of where their food comes from and feel more, more a part of the community and more a part of where their food comes from. So as you can see, that's one of our partners that, uh, that the co-op retailing system has partnered with in Saskatchewan. And uh, uh, due to, for the sake of time, we have lots of stories like this that we can share. If you want to visit www.food.crs slash more slash local, uh, there's a lot more different videos and different concepts on the at-home program that we have. Partnering with local growers is something that the co-op can do because uh, we're not the big corporation that spans Canada or that spans North America. We are truly Western Canadian and we, like we mentioned, want to stay close to our local roots and are proud to stay close to our local roots. The other program that I want to highlight today is on the same lines. It's, uh, it's called Made by Us. This Made by Us campaign highlights the local people and the partnerships behind the products that you can find at the co-op. From food to fuel, co-op has always teamed up with Canadian farmers and manufacturers to produce high quality products for all Western Canadians, many of which are made in a small batch and are special to our co-op. So once again, I'm gonna show two videos, kind of one on different ends of the spectrum. As I mentioned at the beginning of the uh, session, we are proud that we own our own refinery and we, uh, we refine Western Canadian crude. And uh, I'm gonna share a video on that one. And then also one about uh, uh, fish as well too, so two short more videos here. Here's a website here for more information once again co-op.crs. The best things are made together. The best adventures, the best stories, even the best fuels. Co-op fuels are made together with the hard-working team of men and women at the Co-op Refinery Complex in Regina, Saskatchewan. They're made together with Cayenne, who ensures fuel is refined safely. And together with Mackenzie, who tests it for quality before it's delivered. Co-op fuel, made together, made by us. And just one more, like I said, on the fish. The best meals start with the best ingredients, like Co-op Gold Pure, Lake Trout, Walleye, and Pike. Pulled from the icy waters of Wollaston Lake in northern Saskatchewan, they're caught by fishermen like the Shaoli family, who have been fishing these waters for generations. 
and they're packed right on shore at the Northern Wild Fishery, where operators like Alfred and Mary clean and freeze the day's catch. Co-op Gold Pure, made together, made by us. Co-op is a different kind of business, and I believe that moving forward, we can build partnerships that are truly special for everybody, and the partnerships will be made by us. Thank you very much.